Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with hard best 2 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Scroll down over here, you can see GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one right now. So click on get download. Click on download now. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to close GeForce experience now this has worked for a few players so if you have any overlay application running close it so if you have GeForce experience running close it also close discord so if you have discord running close it also close other overlay application so whatever overlay application you have just close it also disable steam overlay for this go to steam now go to library and then make a right click on hard west 2 game so this is just an example so make a right click on hard west 2 game and then select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now, if you have Windows 11, click on Privacy and Security. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security. And then click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down here, you can see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Now click on Add an Allowed App, then click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if it is installed in C drive, then open program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now over here you will find the game exe file. So you will find your hard west 2 game folder. Open that folder. In my case, I don't have it. I'm showing you as an example. So open the game folder, select the game exe file, and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So, for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now, go to browse, click on it, and then again go to the game installation folder. So, open your hard west to game folder. This is just an example. So, open the game folder and then select the game exe file this is just an example now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files again go to steam make a right click on hard west 2 game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now after the verification launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the hard west 2 game this is just an example make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder make a right click on hard west 2 exe file this is just an example and then select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator Put a check over here then click on apply click on ok now launch the game so launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to close all the overclocking applications so if you have 
MSI after burner running on the computer, close MSI after burner. Now, if you have revert unit running, close revert unit. So, close all the overclocking application. Also, perform clean boot. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. So, type in system configuration. And now click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. So click on disable all. This is grayed out in my case. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check over here, then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see x86 and x64. These are Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22 file. So click on both the exe files. So download x86 first and then run this file. Click on repair or install. You might see the install option. Click on install. If you see install, if you see repair, click on repair. Then click on yes to allow. Now download the second file as well. That is x64. Again, run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once this is done, you will see the restart option, restart your computer, make sure that you restart your computer and after that, launch the game. Now, the next step is to update your windows. Make sure your windows is up to date. This is important. Go to the start menu, click on settings, click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor, unplug all the external devices which you're not using Disconnect all the external devices and then launch the game. Also, if you have the software running, close the software. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. The rest close everything, including your browsers. Also remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your hardware, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So first of all, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, Delete the game folder from the game installation folder. So delete the game folder, then restart your computer. Now after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drives. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.